Hello everyone, Trey here. So, as everyone knows at this point, the Supreme Court just voted at a 5-4 ratio to overturn Roe v. Wade, which means that the topic of abortion is now left up to the individual states to decide how they want to handle it. Uh, I just I just wanted to make this video to give a response as to what we need to do now. We as Christians should be, one, we should be rejoicing in this. Because this means that many states will either do away with or, or, stop put, or start putting far heavier restrictions on abortion. But, though this is a win and a good thing for millions of lives, for millions of lives will be saved because of this overturning. This does not mean that our job as the church is done. In fact, it means that our job as the church has just began. I would like to see the church take great action during this time. We need to be the beacon for brotherly love and charity as the scriptures tell us to be. So this means that we, the church, need to step up and display God's love for the lost. This means we need to be there to help those who are in need. For there are many that may feel alone or lost or scared. For it's a good thing that, that, mothers, that mothers now get to have their children and won't kill their children. But now it's our job as the church to take care of these mothers and to take care of these children. That just because good triumphed and their lives have been saved does not mean that we get to sit back and rest. It means that we get to stand up for our work has just begun. We need to exemplify as James says and as James calls the pure religion. We need to exemplify that. James says in, in chapter 1, verses 27, Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. We need to get out, we need to get out of the mindset as Christians that it is our government's job to take care of those people. It is not. We, as the body of Christ's church, we're called to minister and to care for the weak and the heavy laden. Because if we leave that job to the world, then they'll always fail, and they'll always be mistreated, and they'll always be left behind. Because peace and rest can only be found in Christ. So this... So this video, this fairly short video of mine, I just wanted to make a reminder that we as followers of Christ now need to be ministers for the gospel, seeking to show not only to, not only to the children that were being murdered that they are valuable and wanted, but that we also need to show the mothers as well that they too are valuable, and that and that we care about them both, and that we as the church want to, want to care for them, take them in, and be there for them. And that only through the love of Christ can they find salvation and hope. So, I end with this. So that all those who are followers of Christ, let's be the light in the darkness. And remember, that our work is not yet done. So, brothers and sisters, I ask you, be steadfast in prayer. Be quick to give charity, outdoing each other in love, until that day when our Lord returns. May God bless you.